Hello guys, I am here in Guyana, a small country in South America next to Venezuela and Brazil and I'm here now in the capital Georgetown. Guyana is not very touristic so I'm going to try to show you around here in the capital and we start with this statue behind me which is dedicated to a slavery uprising in 1763. You would expect a sidewalk, at least in the city center. We have to do it with this little stretch along the road. The cool thing is that even here in the city center, there's a lot of water and actually a lot of nature. And so we can see some birds right in the center. As you know, walking is my favorite way to discover a city. So now I'm walking along the big road towards the seaside and we're going to the National Park of Georgetown and there should be a pond with manatees in it. Sounds very interesting. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I have arrived at the National Park here in the center of Georgetown and the gates are open, that's good, because many places are closed still because of Covid here in Gaia. And just like that, we are entering Guyana's National Park, which is not a big forest or a huge natural area. It's a local park in the center of the capital, Georgetown. It's very green. We even have a little river here, a lot of water, and we even have some horses. Do you think they're dangerous? Let's try to go a bit closer. I'm actually quite afraid of horses. It's quite small horse. Hello my friend. Eating the grass. Beautiful. All right, he's eating so I won't disturb him. Oh, he's following me now. All right. Looks friendly. Hello my friend. Oh, look at the blonde hair. Guyana only has 800,000 inhabitants, which means that most of the country consists just of the Amazon. There are mainly forests and rivers, and most of the people live along the coastline next to the Atlantic Ocean, just as the capital Georgetown where I am now. So apparently this pond has manatees. It's hard to believe because it's just like a small pond, but they told me to slap with the grass on the water to lure them to come to me. So let's see what happens here. I'm afraid, guys! Will there be a monster here? No manatee so far. I don't want the alligator to come to me. Alright, so I'm manatee hunting in a pond in Guyana. There are also alligators, so I have to hope the manatee comes to my food and not the alligator. There is one, guys. There he is. Come on guys, I brought you food. Eat my food. Okay, I'll just throw it. What's that? I hope it's not an alligator. I don't know what it is, I'm out of here. Looks like an alligator. I don't want to be the male of a Guyanese alligator. Very funny monument, it's like the sun and a, a little smiley. Every child has the right to life, a name, and nationality, a family, healthcare, education, and play. Some nice words. That was my short visit of the National Park here in Georgetown. Now let's try to go to the seaside and check out the Atlantic Ocean. Let's see if we can get out here. Is the exit here? Exit, yeah, thank you. Here we have a totem. That's one of those things I always see in the movie, but never really saw in real life. I don't know how authentic it is. Seems to be more like some kind of artwork. 
and behind here the men are working. Hard workers. No alligator here? Safe? Hello? What are you selling? You have fresh drinks? Hello? Can I look? Can I have a look? Can I take one? How much is it? Here. Thank you. It's so hot here. There is a slight breeze. Still very hot. I bought this Canada Drive for 200 Guyanese dollar, more or less one euro. These little rivers remind me of Florida. They have the same and they're also full of alligators. We are arriving at the Atlantic Ocean. Let's get up these stairs here. Up. Georgetown Beach. I don't think I'm gonna swim here. The water is brown. But I don't know why, it could be natural. And there's a lot of garbage here. And there's someone collecting. I don't know if she's collecting garbage. Could be stones or seashells as well. Ah, Glass? Yes. Oh. You can make jewelry with this? Like this. Okay, you're gonna make jewelry with it? Yeah, I'm gonna make some chimes. Oh, nice. I'll continue walking along the seaside now on this narrow wall or pot. And we go there and there are some of the fancier hotels. Very expensive actually, here in Georgetown. In the Atlantic Ocean, we're at the end here. Just to show you once more how brown the water is here. Never seen it like this. Seems like they're investing a lot in this area. There are some trucks here. Let me show you. Rebuilding the road. And this here looks pretty new as well. It's terrible to see all of this garbage here. It's always the same in Pizza Hut, KFC, Coca-Cola we have there, Sprite, here Coke Zero, Canada Dry, that's the one I had, but I threw mine in the garbage bin. That looks like one of the palaces I saw in Uganda, where they bury their kings. A little photo shoot. And then we are here. Aha, uh -huh, I was right. African Liberation Monument. So apparently this monument is connected to Namibia. Normally here we have a sign, I love Guyana. But now it's hiding International Women's Days banner which I totally support, but I want a picture with my sign. Just the I love is sticking out. Maybe it's uh, on the back. Yeah, it's here. I don't know why they did it, but no picture for me with the sign. I have found the entrance to the lighthouse. Oh, it looks really beautiful. How cool would it be if we can go all the way up there? The gate is closed though. Well, I almost forgot, but it's closed because of COVID, of course. Just like all the other things in Guyana. I seem to be walking in a very industrial area here. Very quiet, some cars and some trucks passing by. People were warning me that it's dangerous here as well. But so far feels pretty safe. At the end of this street should be the National Museum, which is probably closed, but let's have a look anyway. The museum! But it's closed probably. Other side? From there or this way? Is it open or is it closed? It's open? Oh, thank you. Here we have the National Library. And there we have a famous wooden church. We'll have a look there later. Closed because of COVID. No museum. 
Here we are at the Catholic Church of Georgetown and it looks absolutely beautiful. They say it's the biggest wooden building in the world. I am walking now to Stabruk Market. It's quite funny because in Belgium we have a town called Stabruk. And they also told me don't go there now because you're definitely gonna get robbed. So let's see what happens. Is it safe to go there in the market? Is it safe to go there? Going back to my hotel now, try to catch a taxi, but no luck. And there's also a lot of traffic everywhere. So I guess it's better to walk anyway. Walking along the mosque here. <laughs> 